All right, everyone, it is May 1st, and you know what that means? The first of the month, we've got a new battle pass in Dragon Champions. There are no delays here. The first of every single month, there is a new battle pass that features a ton of rewards and a hero as well. And I will say the heroes from the battle pass have actually turned out to be pretty darn good. So what I wanted to do today is go over all the information you're going to want to know about the battle pass, uh, especially going over the details of the hero that is featured, and just kind of tell you guys everything you need to know, both about the free version as well as the paid version. So let's get right to it. Of course, friendly reminder here towards the start of the video, if you guys are already playing or you're interested in playing Dragon Champions, link will be in the description and in the comments, but make sure that you guys use the promo code SALTGIFT before you get to level 15 or you will permanently miss out not just on my rewards, but you won't be able to use any promo code. So just go to the upper right of the screen, go to the cog wheel, go to use promo code and just right here type in salt gift click ok you're going to get about ten dollars worth of free in-game stuff no 50k silver meme it's actually useful draco coins premium currency gold which is a pretty scarce resource energy and also hero stones for a very important orc hero that you are definitely going to want to work on especially if you are newer to the game so do that before level 15. now let's get into the actual battle pass here now, I will answer a question because I know a lot of people are going to have this is, is the paid premium battle pass, is it worth it? And after playing the game for over a month, I will say that this is, in terms of value, the second best deal that you are going to get into the game. And I say second best because there is one thing that is going to be better, and that is actually going to be the monthly pack. Just like in a lot of games, the monthly pack is the best uh, value in terms of the money that you spend. So 6,800 Draco coins for, you know, around $5, 550, that's over a thousand per dollar. So if you are a paid player, this is the first thing that you always want to go for is the monthly pack. Uh, but that's only once per month. Uh, after that, the battle pass is definitely going to be the second best deal that you are going to get. Now, in terms of my personal opinion, because I know a lot of times games will They'll say things like 90% off or $200 in value, but those numbers can be really difficult to trust because they're coming from the actual game developers and they can just kind of say it's worth whatever it is. Me, after playing for over a month, I will say in terms of value, you're probably looking at around $30 to $40 worth of strong value in terms of what you get from the battle pass. Like if they were to take all this stuff in this premium pass and sell it in individual packs, you're looking at about $30 to $40. That's probably what I would end up spending uh, if they took the stuff in the battle pass and ended up selling it individually in you know smaller packs and whatnot. Now let's get into the actual battle pass, uh, take a look at the hero and the other rewards, because we got a lot of stuff here. So let's talk about the hero. Of course, we have Count Delman. Let's go to the hero index so we can take a bit of a closer look at him. He is going to be at the bottom. So important to note is you need 50 heroes to summon him. So you can actually get the hero stones to summon him from the free version. However, if you want to star up him, you're going to get an additional 100 hero stones from the premium version um, to help you out with that. But if we take a look here, he's got a popularity of 50% um, and his skills. Now, this is something I wanted to focus on because his skills are pretty darn good. Very offensive, very burst. You'll see here, uh, I want to look at the level 6 version because this is like fully leveled up, right? Once you get him leveled up um, and actually fully max out his skill, this is what you're looking at. So 270% physical damage to an enemy, 70% chance to increase the cooldown of a random ability for one turn. So you got some RNG there, but uh, if this lands on the right skills, that can completely mess up your enemy's turn. You've got the second skill here. We'll go to the... A full version of it deals 380% physical damage to an enemy, inflicts Mark of Death for three turns. Mark of Death allows attacking an enemy if they are affected by taunt. The target cannot employ invisibility, this is pretty big, and damage inflicted on the target increases by 15%. Third ability right here, it's going to be his, uh, his boost and his buff. Count Delman gains dodge increase for two turns and recovers 25% of his turn meter right off the bat after using this ability. And then on top of that, all allies gain crit damage increase for two turns. Or crit damage increase, sorry. And crit damage is actually a pretty darn good stat in Dragon Champions. So that's definitely going to be a pretty substantial boost to the DPS of your team. 
And of course, his final skill here, Count Delman gains 500 penetration. If Fal Falane is an ally, Count Delman and Falane increase their physical damage by 15%. If Wonder Lula is an ally, Count Delman and Wonder Lula increase their crit chance by 15%. So you guys can see, especially if you watch some of my previous Dragon Champion videos, synergy and working with the right team members is very important in this game. It's not just your actual power, what this power score is, it's uh, you know grouping up and having a team that works really well together and you can kind of see that through Count Delman's skills. So pretty interesting. I'm excited to unlock him through the actual battle pass. Now let's get into some of the other rewards here as well because there's a lot of other stuff. So Draco coins, you are looking at a total of 705 of them from the free version, 2,650 of them from the paid version. So that is a total if you do decide to buy the premium version of 3,355 Draco coins. That's quite a bit, actually. That's about half as much as that monthly pack uh, just by working on the battle pass and kind of progressing through it. Gold, very important. Gold is a very scarce resource in Dragon Champions. You do not have an unlimited amount. You can't just go crazy and farm as much of this as you want. So you get 1 million from the free version, 2 million from the paid version, 3 million additional gold throughout the month uh, for the battle pass if you do decide to buy it. That is going to be quite a big help. Skill scrolls as well, you've got, uh, let's see, the uncommons here. So 65 of them from the free version, 120 paid. It's 185 green skill scrolls in total. Then you have the blue ones here, 45 free, 120 paid. That's 165 blue skill scrolls in total. Fragments. Now, you get a lot of fragments from the battle pass. And this is actually pretty significant because, um, you know, you might be newer to the game and kind of not understand the value in these fragments or kind of take them for granted. But this is going to save you an insane amount of farming and resources when it comes to gearing up a lot of your heroes. So having all of these fragments here, just think to yourself, if you want to get these fragments individually, if you do decide to go out there and farm them, you're looking at spending, you know, 8, 10, 12 stamina or energy just to just for a chance in order to end up getting one of these so you save an insane amount of stamina uh, by having access to all of these fragments in the actual battle pass so uh, let's look at the blue ones first here so for blue fragments we've got 20 of them in the free version we have 90 of them total in the paid version for 110 total blue fragments and then we have the epic fragments here 135 of them in the free version 220 of them in the paid version for a total of 355 uh, purple or epic fragments available through uh, the battle pass and of course we have some of the boots as well here 10 of them in the free version 20 of them in the paid version for a total of 30 and of course what runes are featured in this month's battle pass well we have crit chance and crit damage so we have the crit runes for the free version the full set which is six of the blue three dot i almost want to say three star but it's it's three dots i guess technically in dragon champions but a full set of the uh blue three dot crit chance runes and then in the paid version this is pretty huge because not only uh do you get two epic sets but you get uh the same thing here you have that crit set but now in the paid version you get the um you get the epic version, the three dot crit set here. So you get another one, and you also get the four dot version of the epic crit damage rune. So you get a total of 12 of the purple ones, uh, six three dots, and then six four dots. And that is huge. That is, <laughs> that's gonna really take your heroes uh, from, you know, those, a lot of those really not super great two dot ones that you can end up getting from, you know, like the, the runic journey campaign here. You know, these runes are fine to start off. Uh, you work with what you can get, but eventually you are going to want to replace those. And if you take a look at the shop, this is another really big way in order to get runes is kind of being on the lookout. But they are very, very expensive. Gold is very limited in this game. So dropping, you know, half a million to a million uh, gold on runes is a huge investment. And even then, you have to kind of look out for the right runes with what the, the stats are that you are looking for. So it's definitely not easy, which is why I said in my last video that runes are a really, really big kind of end game goal and uh, progression method through dragon champions you're going to spend a lot of time and a lot of effort really working on and refining your runes so having all of this available 
in the paid battle pass is huge. A lot of value there. I think some endgame players would probably even disagree when I said that this was like a $30 to $40 value from the stuff that you get in the battle pass. You know, some endgame players might say, you know, those runes alone are probably going to be worth that much, maybe even more because of how good they are and how difficult it is to get in the end game. So um, you're looking at a lot of really, really good stuff. All right, so the only last things to kind of end things off here are whether you decide to buy the paid version of the Battle Pass or not. When it comes to the progression, my biggest advice is work on the weeklies first. You have access to all of these without even buying the Battle Pass. Um, and these are going to give you an insane amount of points. You can see the dailies are nice. It's like a nice little bonus, but they only give you 10 points each. So it's totally okay to even miss out on the dailies. Last month, I completed the battle pass and I missed a ton of the dailies. As long as you work on the weeklies, you will be 100% okay. It's not really too intensive. You don't have to worry about like missing one little thing here or there. You should easily be able to get the 3,000 points, whether you have the free version, the paid version, it doesn't matter. You should easily be able to get it pretty much just through the weeklies alone so keep an eye on those and the last thing is just I do recommend the actual battle pass but don't buy the boosted levels like I'll be 100% honest with you guys it's just not worth it I, I can't you know even this is the even though this is a sponsored video um, and, and those of you guys who play the game and use the promo code you do help out I, I can't it's just not worth it don't buy the actual battle pass levels you should easily be able to get the 3,000 points and if you are a spender in this game spend that money on some other useful stuff like um, you know a lot of these smaller packs here there's one for energy that pops up a lot that's pretty darn good um, it's not worth it for getting those battle pass levels quicker that's pretty much going to be it for the video, though. I hope that you guys enjoyed and this helped out. If you are wondering, I think we do actually have a couple spaces in the guild here. I know we have a few inactive players, so if you are interested, feel free to look up the Salty Guild. Um, you know, all you have to do is be level 20 to join. Uh, make sure to leave the random guild that the game randomly puts you into and look for the Salty Guild. I think tonight I should have at least three or four more spots opened up, so feel free to apply to that. And last chance again, if you guys have not used the promo code, go to use promo code, type in salt gift right here. Make sure you do this before level 15. And I know I say this at least twice each video, but um, I've even come across people who have not used their promo code and they're in their level 30s now, and it sucks to see missing out on all that free stuff that you can get. So. Thank you for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it and you want more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to toss a quick like as well. And uh, more Dragon Champions videos should be popping up on the screen. Feel free to check them out. If not, until next time, this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.